everyone, Merry Christmas. My name is Dana Church and I'm going to show you today how to make paper ornaments. Um, the thing that I like the, the most when I'm working with kids is tissue paper and glue. I'm just really fascinated with tissue paper. So um, this is one way that they can do it and have fun with it. And it's not too super messy. There's two approaches you can take. You can actually use glue and um, some kind of backing like that's non-porous, like a plastic sheet, plexiglass. Um, any kind of surface that's not going to have anything stick to it, like I just got this at the dollar store basically, it's a one dollar mat, and you'll, you'll be able to, it has a slick surface basically. So what you have kids do first is you have them tear up some pieces of Christmas colored tissue paper. You don't always have to go with the traditional color, sometimes I like the turquoise, but traditional green, red, whatever. Sometimes I don't mix green and red together because it becomes brown. So you want to watch that, but um, then you, you have a little um, container, make sure it's stable so it doesn't turn over, and you put a little Elmer's glue in here and a little bit of water, just enough water to loosen it up, probably like three to one ratio. And then sponge brush does work good with this, so you paint some glue on the surface. Already have the tissue paper torn up ahead of time because you know you might be getting glue on your fingers and you don't want to go back and have that stick, everything to stick to your fingers. And then you just lay the tissue paper down and they just gently brush on top of it. They can overlap. It's really not too hard. Um, maybe kindergarten kids might need more help with this. But what some people do instead of using this is they take um, contact paper. It's sticky on both sides and they lay a piece of contact paper down. The kids put the tissue paper on the contact paper then fold it back over and smooth it out and then you cut it out that way. It's sort of like stained glass, really. So go ahead and do that. The reason we like this is it is transparent. So when you put it on the tree, it looks interesting when the lights show behind it. So after you do that, you let it dry. And believe it or not, you might want to put two layers. I only put one layer on this, but two layers would be better. And it actually just peels right off like this. It's just, it's like amazing. I just love this so much. And I actually drew on this with permanent ink and it actually came off on the tissue paper. So you just peel it off and it's just like that. But you know, what you want to do is if you didn't draw under it, you just want to take a pattern from the internet, a simple pattern at this point after you peel it off like this, and you want to just lay it down and let the child trace over it. These are all easy to find or even draw yourself. Then you're going to cut it out, cut, cut, cut. I'll cut this one out. You know, trim around the edges nicely. You might have to help them, but they can probably do it. Any, any shapes that you want are fine. Now, if you want to do a uh, gingerbread man, you might want to give them some different colored tissue paper to work with. All right, so you trim it, trim it all out. And then just to hang it on the tree, this is just what I would do. I would just take a push pin and make a hole on the top. Be careful you don't tear it. It is a little delicate. If you think it's too delicate too, you can always add a um, backing to it. But I mean, it's, it's fairly sturdy too because the glue is holding it together. So then you can hold it on the tree. And the thing is usually when you put it in front of something, like whatever, I'm gonna catch it on fire, but it's transparent. So it's, it sort of has that stained glass look and it looks really neat on your tree. So there you go, how to make paper ornaments.